hi welcome to spring mbc tutorial series so this video is about spring mbc bean scopes so i'm going to discuss request and session scope in this tutorial okay so let's get started just create a new spring mbc project so go to file just select spring legacy projects from here select the spring mbc project so give a name as spring mbc scopes okay so it will create a spring mbc project so give a package name so the project is created so in this project we will be having a default controller created let's create some endpoints okay so spring have three scopes for Spring MBC we have request session and application scope so I'm going to discuss request and session scope in this tutorial request scope we use when we want to create a new bean for any request so a new object will be created whenever request come so session scope is generally used when we want to create a single object per session so in that case we can go with session scope so, and the application scope I will discuss in my next video there are two more scopes singleton and prototype scope which are used in spring IOC not in spring MBC for those I had already created a tutorial I will share the link for those videos in the description of this video so you can check singleton and prototype scopes also okay so let's create a request mapping so this is the default mapping created so let's create one more mapping here let's say this is a scope scopes mapping okay let's change the function name scopes okay let's remove this all so we need to create some bean with the different scope so let's do that so let's say we have a bean as request bean okay so to make this bean as a request scope bean we have to first use scope annotation okay let's import the package so here we need to add the value okay so we have to use web application context okay here we can get the scope so it is a scope request okay and here we have to provide the proxy this should be scope proxy mode dot we can say target class okay now to make it bean let's use the component annotation component to test this we can create a date object here in this class so let's say we have a date variation date okay let's create a constructor for this class so here we can pass the date okay let's set this this dot date current date equal to current date okay let's create a getter for create date okay let's select this so same way we can create a session scope class so let's do that So let's say this is a session scope class. So here the scope should be session scope. Okay, and so we have created two classes with one is with the request bean so let's change this to session bean 
house name let's change to session bean okay. in the controller we can use these two classes let's pass this to the request so we need to auto buy these two objects these two beans so let's remove the these configurations these are not required so let's auto buy the session request bean first Okay, let's say this is a request bean. Request bean, okay. Let's create, let's inject the session bean as well. Session bean, okay. This should be session bean. Okay. So here we can pass these two objects as an attribute to the request. So let's pass these two objects. So the first is request bean. Let's pass this. And the second is session bean. Okay, let's pass this as well. Okay, this is session. Okay, so here we can provide a default implementation for for the create date. So in the in the default constructor, we can do that. So let's say this is current date equal to new date. So that we can verify the date. So let's do that for session bean as well. So in the session bean here, the default constructor we can do that. Okay. And now we have to create a JSP page. So let's create a JSP page. So JSP page we have to create inside view package so let's create a jsp file add scopes ok the jsp file is created let's modify the contents ok here i'm using jstl library ok so in, in this file i'm just using the date field to test the request and session scope so whenever the object is object will be created this date will be modified so we can verify this okay so let's run this on server and we can verify this okay let's run as run on server there is an error while starting the server okay so we need to add one dependency into pom.xml file So let's open the pom.xml file so we have to add this cz lib dependency okay now i think we need to modify this this should be scopes so we are getting the date so let's refresh this so as you see the the date for request object is getting created so the request object date is getting modified so as you see so whenever we refresh the page again it means the new request went to the server so this date object will be created newly one okay so that means the request object that we have the request bean object this class object that we are passing from the controller this request bean is getting created per request and session bean so this is session bean this this object is not getting modified so as you see this is not getting modified so the current session time is the default is actually 30 minutes so we can modify this let's modify this so for that we need to use http session equal to 
and here we have to pass HTTP servlet request object ok let's import the package ok this should be servlet so import the package the HTTP session as well so from the request we can get the session ok so let's set the interval for session so this is set max inactive interval let's make this 3 seconds ok let's test this again so let's refresh the page ok let's refresh again so as you see the session object is also getting modified ok ok so we made this 3 second that's why it is getting modified so after 3 second the new object is getting created for session bin ok so that's how session and request bin works the request bin we must use uh, per request so we have to provide the request scope so if you want to have some session objects that want to, we want to use the per session then we can use the session scope for that okay that's all for this video in my in my next video i will discuss about application scope see you next video bye bye